In problem number 39 of section 3.9, we're given a function from uh, three-dimensional space to uh, the real line, and given a particle that's traveling through uh, three-dimensional space. We're asked to first compute the gradient vector field of, um, of the function, and then find the work done by the force that's equivalent, that's equal to the gradient vector field as the particle travels from uh, its, uh, its parameterization at t equals zero to t one. So the first step, finding the gradient vector field. Um, well, remember that gradient vector field is just partial derivative uh, with respect to x in the first coordinate, partial with respect to y in the second, and partial with respect to z in the third. So this is equal to, well, we take the derivative with respect to x and hold the other values, uh, other variables constant. We get 4x uh, plus z, and the third term goes to 0 since there's no x term in it. And now do the same. Only uh, take the derivative with respect to y. So the first two terms are 0, and we're left with 2y. And the third coordinate, we have 0 plus uh, x and 0 in uh, the third term as well. The gradient vector field is um, given by 4x plus z in the first coordinate, 2y, uh, 2y in the second, and x in the third. Now, to calculate the work done by a force that's equal to um, this vector field, so if we have set f equal to 4x plus z comma 2y comma x, we can use the formula um, where we integrate force composed with uh, the parameterization of the path, so composed with alpha of t, and take the dot product that with um, alpha prime of t, and integrate with respect to t, and we want to integrate from 0 to 1 since it was out of the limits of uh, the parameter t. So, let's see. This is equal to the integral from 0 to 1. Now, f of alpha of t. Alpha t is 3t, uh, comma 2t squared, comma t plus 1. So we substitute that uh, in here. So x is uh, now, or 3t plays the role of x. So we have 12t uh, plus z, so plus t plus 1. In the second coordinate, we have 2 times y. Well, y is now equal to 2t squared. So 2 times 2t two squared is 4t squared. And in the third coordinate, we have x, or just 3t. And take the dot product with alpha prime, which is 3 comma 4t. Uh, comma 1, and integrate this with respect to t. All right, so this is equal to, if we simplify uh, this, the first component, we get uh, 13t plus 1. So 13 times 3 is 39t plus 3, and now for the second term of the dot product, we have uh, 4t squared times 4t, so we get 16t cubed, and the third term will be 3t times 1, and dt. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to move this to the top of the board. All right, so this is equal to uh, 
the integral from 0 to 1. Let's collect like terms. So we have 16t cubed. And 42t. And just a single constant term, 3. So if we integrate, we get uh, 16 divided by 4 is 4, t to the 4, plus 21t squared, plus 3t, evaluated from 0 to 1. And if we evaluate this, we get 4 plus 21 plus 3 minus, and each term just goes to 0, and we substitute uh, t equals 0. That leaves us with uh, 4 plus 21 is 25 plus 3, 28 joules.